In this quick video, let's see how you can draw text in GameMaker and change its size, color, and alignment. Let's start with the blank project. So give it a name and hit let's go. Once you're in the project, create a new object. And then in that object, add the draw event, which is where you can draw text or any other kinds of graphics. Here, use the draw text function to draw text at the instance's position. In GML Visual, this is called draw value, and it actually allows you to enter a separate caption and a value, but they're both really the same, and at the end, they're just joined together. Then open your room and put your object here. Run the game, and you will see your text. But of course, by default, it's quite small, so let's change that. So there are two ways to change the size of your text. The first is to use the draw text transformed function instead, which lets you set a horizontal and a vertical scale and also an angle. So if I set the scale to 2, the text will be twice as large. But the bigger you make it, you realize it becomes pixelated because it's just scaling up the characters after they've been drawn. So the second and proper way to set the size of your text is to use a font asset. So I'll create a font asset here and its editor will open up in the workspace. Here you can change which font you want to use. So if you download any new fonts from the internet, they'll show up in this list. If they don't show up, try restarting GameMaker. And then you can set the style of the font and its size. And you can also disable anti-aliasing if you want. This is useful for pixel art fonts where you don't want it to be smooth and you just want it to be drawn with sharp edges. For example, I'll set the size to 24 here and go back to the event where I'm drawing the text. Before I draw the text, I'll use this function to set the font to the one I just created. So mine is called font1. I'll also get rid of the transform text and just use the normal draw text function. And now in the game, your text will be drawn with your font with the size that you set. It will appear crisp and clear even after you make it larger in the font. So you can make fonts for different sizes and styles and then just set the fonts that you want to use before drawing some text. Thanks, Goopri. I'll take it from here. So let's take a look at what font looks like when it's scaled with SDF and scaled without. So let's go ahead and drag the draw transformed value in here. And I'm going to copy this caption, paste it in here. And this, I'm just going to remove the word not and capitalize the word is. That way we know that this is scaled text. And we're going to click relative. I'm going to move it down just a smidgen so that it's not overlapping. And we're going to scale this up three times in the X and the Y. So let's take a look at this because this is what it looks like without SDF. It's very pixelated. It's legible, but not great. And if you go higher, it's going to get even worse. But if we go into our font asset and all we got to do is click this little box and it's going to do everything for us so f5 run your game and now look at that text this is legitimately awesome this text is beautiful crisp and clear and the thing is we can scale this up as much as you want if we scale this up to 30 times you're not even gonna be able to see a single word but look at that t Look at that little bit of the H you can see. It is awesome and it looks great. So now you know, you better start using it in every single game you make. Well, back to you, Goopreet. You can also draw text with a custom color. So before drawing your text, use draw set color to set a color and then draw your text. And after drawing the text, use the same function to reset the color to its default value, which is white. This makes sure that you're not changing the color of some other text that you're drawing in a different object that's expecting the default color, which is white. So in my example here, it will make my text red. Similarly, you can also change the alignment of the text you're drawing. You can set a horizontal alignment and a vertical alignment. By default, these are set to left and top. But if you want to draw text from the center of the point where you're drawing the text, you can set these to center and middle. Just make sure that after you have drawn the text, you reset these alignments back to their default values, which are left and top. In my example, I'm drawing some text after drawing a sprite, and the origin of that sprite is set to middle center. So that's where I'm going to draw the text, 
but the text also needs to be aligned in the middle center so i'll set the alignments to that and then in the game the text is drawn properly with the default alignments you would see this instead there are some more functions for drawing text in gml code for example there's draw text ext where you can pass a maximum width value so whenever your text goes past that width it moves over to the next line so this allows you to draw text within a defined horizontal boundary there's draw text color which allows you to pass a different color for each corner of the text so using this you can make a cool gradient effect then there are functions that combine these different functionalities for example there's draw text ext transformed color so you can define a width for your text while setting a scale and angle and also using a different color for each corner so there's a lot you can do with text in game maker if you have any questions let me know down in the comments also make sure to check out our other game maker tutorials and i'll see you in the next video we're gonna, we're gonna...